today is going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to Germany and welcome to the Euro Speedway, a place where I've never been before, a track I know nothing about, but here today with Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz AMG, Mercedes-Benz Switzerland that invited me here. Very, very excited to drive the new Black Series today. The cars just look absolutely incredible. So far, I just love the madness of it and I cannot wait to jump in, get my first experience of the new AMG GT Black Series and just have as much fun as possible. Right now I'm gonna head inside, get the whole introduction to the car and get our first experience in the car on the track, which I think is the best place for this car. While I'm waiting to jump in the car for the first time, just wanted to show you guys quickly some of the other Black Series they've put out here. The Hammer, of course, the 300E, absolute legend of a car, the SLS Black Series. This thing is just, well, we can all admit this is one of the greatest, especially in the color. It is such a monster. C63 AMG Black Series, a car that I always dreamt about owning as well. SL65 AMG, again, monster. Just look how wide that is. CLK63 AMG. The Black Series lineup are really legendary cars. The SLK 55 AMG Black Series at the end. Yes, quite happily take all of these home. But anyway, let's head back through here and go and find my GT Black Series for the morning. Sam. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Back to the channel. People forget. They do forget. We, we go way flat. back. We Our do. YouTube channels go way back. Yeah, way, yeah, yeah. way back. Yeah. <laughs> way, way back. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Good, man. You... Such a nice surprise to see you here. Yeah. So. Walking into the hotel last night, Sam texted me. He's like, did you by any chance just arrive? I'm like looking out my window, going, what a nice view. And I'm like, hold on a sec, I know that guy. And I suddenly like banged on the window like a psycho fan. I'm like, no! and I was like, if it's not him, that'll be really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it was so cool. So and we're you, here. You're here alone. I'm here alone. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm not coming. The rest of the UK guys are coming on a different date. So I'm here like kind of by myself, but obviously with you as yeah, well. Yeah, we went for um, dinner last night. We went for dinner nice. and there's a load of other German people and they're doing yeah. all the briefings in German and I'm like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So good. <laughs> first opinion on the car quiet but yeah, aren't wait, all new cars wait, wait for it they know, are, they I mean coming. I can keep talking you can't you can't that's the first time listen this is awkward this is, this oh, there was this a is awkward there, there was some crackle. Crackle. Was the thing is we can't be too horrible about this because this is just the world no, we live in, right? No, it's not the brand. It's not the brand, yeah, not the yeah. car. Like, the car will still be great, but it is disappointing given the As fact that the head. previous five black singers wanted yeah. out there, they'd all sound nuts. It's, it's almost at the point where the tyre noise is overtaking the sound of... I mean, it's really disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell... <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Quiet is, is the word. They look amazing, but... It's just interesting when you see how aggressive the car looks and then, you know, doesn't have that original AMG mayhem sound. Only one slot. Yeah. Right now, fifth rounds. Yeah. Can you follow the guy? Okay, maybe we'll start this first lap in sport mode, so yes, please. Okay. Really don't know this track. It's so terrible driving a track in a really fast car that you don't know. Luckily, following a professional makes my life a little bit easier. Anyway, slowly opening up this 730 PS, 800 Newton meters of torque. This is a torque monster. The sound from in here is quite crazy. I don't know if it's sound being pumped in through speakers. It sounds like it. Fizz. Oh. Okay, 
right now I'm having fun. Oh, flat down. <laughs> the back end is just dancing. <laughs> also at the same time trying to keep my breakfast down. Under this heartbreaking, I'm regretting eating that scrambled egg this morning. This car definitely in its home territory here on the racetrack. Big wide corner, pick up the speed, exiting. Thank you, bro. I'm just, I have to check what I look like before I drive because that's all that really Nobody matters. Nobody looks good in these <laughs> condoms. Yeah. <laughs> Literally have to wear a condom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got to try our breast, bro. I want to show you guys quickly. This is the front splitter from the car. As you can see, there's a lot going on for a front splitter. You can manually adjust this. So underneath, it's got uh, two clips. You can open them up and then you can pull the front splitter forward for the racetrack where you can put the bars going up into the car as well so you really can set the car up for the racetrack very aggressively with the aero. Talking about aero of the car we've got here this double wing as you can see this bottom wing looks similar to the normal AMG GT normal um amg ttr and then basically they've just gone you know what this needs this needs another wing on top and they've just quite literally looks like put another wing on top of the other wing so it's a double wing that also has active aero as you can see here got some active aero the middle part of the top wing comes up quite a bit here what it does automatically it will come up uh, during hard acceleration to give the car more downforce and it will stay up until 250 kilometers an hour and then at 250 kilometers an hour it will actually go back down to give you the error that you need to hit the top speed which is actually less downforce on the back and then of course under hard braking from the top speed it will come back up air ducts as you can see they go inside massive absolutely huge the splitter splitter game strong on this car as i was telling you guys before so when you can manually adjust the front splitter out then you can attach these obviously we've got it now set like that because the cars are on the track hence having the front splitter in the track mode and then afterwards you can undo them and push it back in because i think well i'm not sure but this extra bit might not work too well driving around in the city for example one of those cars i think you're either gonna love or hate I am loving it. I'm just loving the madness of it. And that's exactly what it is. It is mad. And this wing is going to attract a lot of attention on the road. Got quad exhaust pipes. Also looking very nice. New rear diffuser. Massive. Everything massive. Everything in your face. Brilliant. We're gonna end today's video now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, myself and Sam have had a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, the, <laughs> yeah. that's the problem. It's, yeah. it's been a lot of fun. fun, but super impressed with the car. I think the looks you're either gonna love it or hate it. It's out there, it's in your face. Performance, handling, does have good feedback. It's like, wow, they've made an incredible machine. But as a Black Series, we're both left with uh, for me, it's more that it's become a tad too serious. 
Yeah, and what I said before, and I think what you said in your video, too easy to yeah. drive. Yeah. I mean, really easy, flat turn in. Which is yeah. cool, but like, yeah. you, you kind of want your Black Series to be a little bit crazy. Yeah, or you want I to think. feel scared yeah. at some point. I want it to be like an F12 TDF. It's gonna you, kill you me. Want at some everything point. to be like well, a Ferrari, right? So, yeah. <laughs> that's my own problem. Yeah. But anyway, I think we're both left thinking about. I personally would really consider an older Black Series that feels just more hardcore, more pure. You're I sure mean, right. you could take the C63 out there for less than half the price. That I think would give maybe just as many smiles. Yeah, no, no, I'm with you. I think I think if not, that it's got more character. Fine, you're not gonna lap the Nurburgring. Sure, it wasn't my goal anyway. You're not gonna spend as much money and you're gonna enjoy yourself and all of these different elements. Exactly. So yeah. yeah, it's a big question mark. It's brilliant, mm. but, but it, it's maybe gone in a wrong direction for Black Series. Oh, we're gonna get so much hate from the Yeah, well, you said, I used to yeah. that. But uh, on that note, thank you so much for watching. And for me, it is ciao for now.